What is going on everybody? It is Foreign and welcome back. So I'm going to be showing you guys something a little bit different than I normally would show you guys. And I apologize for the audio quality and just the image quality in general. Uh, I did record the second half on my iPhone. Um, but I'm going to show you guys my, my setup and how it's changed and where it is now. And on top of that, you guys will get to see my new PC. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, let's cut to that video. All right, welcome everybody. Uh, so here is the actual setup that I have now. So before you guys had only seen this portion of it, which was my gaming setup, and now I've also added on the PC setup. So that's the actual giant case right there, the badass mother trucker. Um, so we'll we'll go over the actual gaming stuff first, and then we'll get into the PC in just a minute. So uh, we have here my custom built Xbox 360 controller. Um, I actually made this myself. For people that have seen the video from before, um, I, I made that myself from basically pieces. Uh, and then I have my TV, which isn't anything special. Um, and then we also have the Xbox 360, the Tritons, my Blue Snowball. And then underneath here is the... Elgato, uh, my Triton's power booster, and my router. Um, and then down here we just have some cables and random stuff. Uh, so we'll get into the actual PC. So my monitor is a 23-inch Asus. Uh, I want to say it's a VS229 um, IPS monitor. Uh, IPS is a in-panel switching uh, base or in-plane switching. Basically, it's so you can actually view the monitor from any angle. Also, it has some of the richest color available. Um, so it's perfect for a designer like me. Uh, we also have a ton of squid grips over here. Uh, but you guys will see more about that soon. Um, probably tomorrow. Probably tomorrow. Um, so anyway, so we'll get into the actual PC. So down here we have two uh, portable hard drives. On the left is a USB 3.0. On the right is a USB 2.0. Both of them are a terabyte. Um, sitting on top of my Altic Lansing. Um, fuck, I can't even think of what it's called. Uh, that's the sub. Speakers are up here. Uh, so let's actually open up the PC. So what we have here is a Fractal Design Define... R4 case, I'm going to say it is. Uh, the front opens up where I can put two extra ports uh, so I can put different drives and stuff like that. There's some more cases back in here. You can actually see the one right there. Um, and then I can also change the speed of the fans right there. Um, so this is actually a really nice case. I, I really like it a lot. Um, I'm going to set you guys down for just a second. You guys can stare up at my face while I pull it out a little bit, so it's a little easier to get at. Um, you guys don't want to see my face, you want to see this. Alright, so, we're going to open this up. Uh, all it is is these little tiny thumb screws that you need to open up. Um, and then the case just pops right off. And there we go. There we go. So, this is the inside of my PC. Um, personally, I enjoy this thing a lot. It's uh, extremely fast. It's a 3.5 gigahertz uh, i7. Um, down here we have the power supply. Uh, we have two different hard drives. This one down here is a solid state drive. Um, it is the operating system for my Mac side, and then this right here is a Western Digital Black, um, and it has the operating system for my, um, I got like a, got like a hair or something on my hand. Uh, this is the operating system for Windows 8, um, and then it's also a lot of storage. Uh, so let's actually get into this. So this is a, uh, I want to say it's a Gigabyte. Fuck. It's a Z77X uh, UP5. Um, all the links will be in the description for all the parts. Um, so that's the actual motherboard itself. 
Uh, and then we have the Corsair H100i cooler. Um, and then we have two sticks of Corsair Vengeance low profile RAM. Um, and then up top is the actual like big ass cooler fans. Um, so this thing is actually pretty quick. It's a lot faster than my computer that I had before, obviously. Um, and then eventually, I'm going to be adding in a GPU, which will go in one of these ports right here, um, as well as the Blackmagic Intensity. Um, so that'll also get added in there somewhere. Um, so the cool thing about this setup is that it actually supports uh, Thunderbolt. Let's see if I can actually find where the Thunderbolt displays are. Um, I can't actually... F uh, I can't see it. Anyways, oh, there they are. So, right there, uh, dual Thunderbolt displays. So, that's really nice for um, working with Macs. Uh, Mac is really the only thing that supports Thunderbolt. So, that's kind of why I went with all the stuff that I went with for this build. Um, because it works great with Mac. So, I'll actually just show you guys what this Mac is all about. So, about this Mac... Um, you can see right here, 3.5 gigahertz, i7, 16 gigs of RAM, um, then there's some, no, I don't want to do software update, what am I doing? Uh, <laughs> anyways, so, that's my PC, uh, the link will be in the description for all the parts that were included in it, uh, the whole build cost me around $1,200-ish, um, and... I want to say that it's it's equivalent to like the highest end iMac and what it's like a, a quarter of the price from the highest end iMac so that's my PC hopefully you guys enjoyed it it's pretty awesome I love it uh, this does also run Windows and it runs Mac perfectly so um, anyways I hope that you guys enjoyed I'll give you guys one one final look inside while we end the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will talk to you guys later.